Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to see how easy it is to connect to Azure SQL database from the Denodo server. I have my instance of Denodo Professional up and running uh, on the Azure cloud. And I'm going to RDP, connect via remote session, and we'll see how we can go about setting it up. Okay, so let's, the instance is up and running and you can see a design studio. That's the UI interface to the Donato server. So I'm gonna log in to the design studio. And once you log in, you can see here, there's a default database of admin already created. So the next step is I'm gonna define a data source which we go about say new data source and it's a JDBC data source. So you're gonna use the JDBC connector and the driver to connect to this Azure SQL database. Okay, so let's call it test. It's a data source DS test SQL DB. And here you're gonna pick Azure SQL as your database adapter. The JDBC URL, uh, you would need the name of the SQL server, uh, the host name, the port number, which runs on 1433, and the database name. We already have a database that has been created, so we're just going to point to that database. So let me copy my connect string here. Here you can see the database name is TCPDS. Uh, connecting on 1433, and this is my host name. Okay, so the next step is to quickly update my thing. And here, the username, uh, it's Tenodo, and then I'll put the password. Okay, under the advanced tab, you can see the driver class is MS SQL, and the driver class information that's already automatically populated. Okay, if you were to look at the actual drivers, uh, you can see them under the Donato folder, under Donato, Donato platform, and here lib uh, extensions, JDBC drivers, and here you can see all the different drivers that are packaged with the installation. Okay, so once you're putting all, once you have put all the connective connection information. I'm gonna test my connection. Perfect, it works, great. And then I'm gonna save it. So let me save it. Uh, the next step is I can then import the metadata by creating the base views. I have some sales schema that's already been defined. Uh, pick the tables that you like. You can pick all the tables. I'm gonna pick a customer for the test purpose here. And that, I would say create selected. Nope, I don't want to create the four views, just one table here. Okay, so the way to test this is once you have imported the customer which shows up here on the panel on the left, and you can also see the test connection to the data source DS test SQL DB. So I'm gonna just run a quick query and see if I can access the data in the table in my Azure SQL database. All right, that's it, uh, quick and easy. Uh, and thanks for watching this video.